Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, good, good. Preloaders, VI Preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. And you know this by now, or at least you should. For those of you that are new to this channel, welcome to you as well. My name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant. And the name of this channel is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. So co-starring with me in today's video is going to be my girl, Allure. Allure is my 2023 Harley-Davidson breakout. And I'm going to be doing an exhaust upgrade on her today. Um, Tab Performance is what I use. I also have a 2019 Road King special. I have a 2019 CVO Street Glide and I have a 2021 CVO Limited. All of those motorcycles have tap performance uh, exhaust on them. They all actually have the 5.0 pipes on them with the zombie baffles with the exception of uh, Violet. Violet's the 2021 Limited. She has the louvered baffles. I needed her to be a little quieter because that's the motorcycle my wife rides on the back. Okay, so today is going to be the first time that I'm actually installing tab performance on a motorcycle other than a bagger. And with that being said, this box right here, guys, this is not the pipes that are going on Allure, right? I just wanted to show you the difference in the size of the box. These are going on Allure. And these slip-ons are 3.5 inches, not five inches. <laughs> that wouldn't make sense on this motorcycle. Um, and it's gonna be the first time I'm installing um, anything, doing anything really on a soft tail uh, motorcycle, but I'm, I promise you guys, I promise you, it's just as easy as it is on a bagger. All right guys, I haven't taken these out of the box. I wanted to see them for the first time with you. Um, and yes, I'm wearing gloves and I, you don't have to wear gloves as long as you wipe these pipes down before you start the motor, before they get hot. Cause you know, they say stuff could get baked in and it'll be difficult to get it off. All right. And that's how it looks, guys. Very nice, very nice. Look at the billeted tip. All right, that's very nice. Now, the difference with these guys versus the slip ones that go in the baggers are, for instance, my CVOs come with a heat shield on it, uh, the slip ones that come on those motorcycles. And when you take those um, slip ones off of the motorcycle and then you add the tab performance slip ones, you don't have to worry about using the heat shields again. There's no heat shields on the slip ones from tab performance. Now, with this motorcycle, those heat shields that are on those pipes are gonna stay on those pipes. I'm gonna be reusing them. So that's the difference. That's one of the differences. So they look very nice. Again, another difference, because these are mounted on the side of the motorcycle and they're stacked, obviously there's different mounting positions on these versus the other slip ones for the baggers. So I'm gonna familiarize myself with that. And it looks like the same thing. There's two holes here. So that means there's going to be two uh, attachment points here and then also here. And again, this is to attach the, uh, the slip on to the header. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, two things I want to show you differences between the slip ons going on this soft tail and the baggers. On the baggers, when you take off the current pipes that are on there to add the slip ons, whatever clamp that's on that motorcycle that connects the slip-on to the header pipe, you're gonna reuse that. You take it off that pipe and you put it on the new slip-on. On these, it actually comes with a clamp and they have it secured right here and they have it secured very well. And that's 
So you don't have to worry about that. You, obviously, you just have to loosen this, put it over the head pipe, and then tighten it. Also, as you can see here, they're the same size. And for those of you that don't know, if you get slip-ons for your bagger motorcycle, your Harley-Davidson bagger motorcycle, the right one, the right slip-on is thicker right here than the left one, okay? So it's size-specific. You, 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 you can't put one on the wrong side. Whereas this, you can see even the clamps, right? They're in the same place, so it doesn't matter which one you put on. There's no right, there's no left, there's no top, there's no bottom. So literally, I'm going to be removing those two bolts, and then if you look right here, that right there, that's the, that's the bolt that's holding the clamp that uh, secures the uh, slip onto the header. So this is the one that I removed, and you can see, obviously, same length um, and same mounting bracket. Right, and those two screws, those are right here, and those that took me the longest to do out of everything because not a lot of room. I had to use this Allen Allen wrench, and I know it's just a it's the it's the matter of me not having a a better tool. This is where I took it off from, and this is where the two screws go. And then right here, with the pipe being here, not a lot of room at all to work with. So, here's the clamp that was holding that pipe onto the uh, to the header pipe right here, right? Now, like I said earlier, if this were a bagger, we'd be reusing this, but we're not gonna reuse this. We're gonna be using the one that's already on it. The other thing I like is, if you look, this is the backside of the one I took out. See how it's just, it's very thin, it's not a lot of recess, and the pipe is like right there, like the actual exhaust pipe is right there um, and where on tab performance look at that look how inset that is right look how wide that is oh man that's nice that's really nice so I'm gonna like the way that looks I almost hate to put a, a heat shield on it but here's the heat shield guys right and again it's just two clamps you loosen these two clamps and then you can just slide this heat shield right off and then you're just gonna put it on the same way on this one. So what I'm gonna do is, I can see right now that this is where the heat shield is and this is where the mounting bracket is. So I'm gonna, you know, make sure it's lined up the way I want it to be lined up. Once we put it on this pipe, we're not gonna tighten it all the way anyway so we can make adjustments. And then all you need right here is either a flathead screwdriver or the proper socket size to go around this. Screwdriver might be easier because there's not a lot of room in there. So here is the clamp that we're gonna to use to attach this slip-on to the header pipe. And this one uses a 716 uh, ratchet socket. And uh, it's a big difference between this one, all right? All right, guys, as simplistic as this is, I don't wanna just assume Everybody knows how to take off the heat shield because not everybody does it. But again, this is like a belt. And if you do that and screw it, that's what attaches it. And of course, the more you screw it, the tighter it gets. I'm loosening it all the way so that I can take the slip on out of it. Ah, I gotta make sure I clear it. So twist it so that the mounting bracket is not in the way and then you can just slide it out. All right, and that's the shield. And then we just simply take the new tab performance slip on. I'm doing it like this, but you can literally just open these up and put it in. But I'm gonna do it like this. And 
And the good thing about this heat shield is there's a cutout right here. So you know you could just twist this and put it right in there where it's supposed to be. All right, so that's good. I gotta take off this wrapping so that it'll fit, but, and that's all it is. And then you just tighten these back on. Don't tighten it all the way. Put it on the motorcycle, and when you have the heat shield where you want it, then tighten it. But make sure when you're putting it on the motorcycle that the access to screw it on, you can actually get to. If you're not gonna be able to get to it, you need to tighten it first, put it on the motorcycle, and if you need to adjust it, pull it back off and adjust it. All right, guys, so work done, very easy. They look great, of course, I knew they would. Um, and what I like most, because the only part of the slip-on that you're gonna see is the tip of it. Now, with the other ones that were on here, you saw a little bit of the tip, and it's very narrow, not a lot of re reveal, you know what I mean? Um, but now with these, oh my gosh, what a huge improvement. Nice, thick bezel, and the reveal has that... Um, that chiseled diamond cut look. It's just really, really nice looking. Now, a couple of things. What I will say is, I know I said that getting, um, getting to those screws that are back there, you know, was a, those bolts was a pain in the butt. Um, not the ones at the bottom because those are facing this way, but these are facing like this. So like anything else, right tool for the right job. And I forgot I had one of these things that I can hook to my, my power screwdriver and it's flexible, so I was able to put it where I want it to put the screw back in and then finish it off with an Allen key. Also, um, as per the instructions for those screws, I applied some red Loctite, and it's also recommended that if you have two mufflers like this motorcycle has, when you're putting the Tab Performance slip-ons on, put the bottom one on first. All right, she looks good. I'm very happy with it, but you know what we're gonna do next. How does she sound? All right, let's take it outside. Holy sh guys. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. I've been impressed with Tab Performance right from the beginning, all of my motorcycles. And of course, the first one I was the most impressed with, and that's Valiant. That's my uh, 2019 CVO Street Glide. And that's because Valiant not only has Tab Performance slip-ons with the zombie baffles, but she also has full Tab Performance headers. And she already had a stage three, so it's got a cam in it. What kind of cam is in there? I have no clue but I was impressed immediately by her. This motorcycle, again, it's gonna be different, and uh, Casey at Tap Performance told me it's gonna sound good because the pipes are shorter. Oh, guys, I mean, as soon as it started and I hit that throttle, my, the sides of my mouth went up and it stayed up to the point where I started feeling soreness. <laughs> it sounds 
Oh my God. Tab performance, once again, guys, I'm telling you. And that's just with slip-ons. I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to put a cam in it. You know, you could still do that. Cams always make the motorcycles sound a little bit better. But truth be told, I don't have any plans on doing that because that sounds nice. It's, it's beefier and it's throatier. Oh my God, it just really, really sounds good. So I don't even know what else to say, guys, but if you see me and I'm on, you have to hear this in person, like everything else, to really, really appreciate it. It just sounds phenomenal. And this motorcycle already has a sex appeal to it. It's got some beefiness to it because of that 240 on the back. And now it's got the sound to match it. Oh, so I can't wait to take it for a ride so I can really experience how it feels and sounds and all that good stuff. So guys, like I said, I've installed Tab Performance on four of my motorcycles. This is actually the fifth motorcycle that I've installed them on. And if you wanna see those videos, you can check those videos out. I'll put a playlist uh, up here on the screen. Some of them go into a little more detail as far as the installation, but that's why I didn't need to do that here. But I did wanna show you some stuff because it's a little bit different, but same concept, two screws, and then a big one, and they're off, nice and easy. The whole job probably took me about 30 minutes. And just as a reminder, guys, or for your information, if you didn't know this, uh, these have the zombie baffles in them, yes, but Tab Performance, the baffle is interchangeable. So if you bought some with the zombie baffle and it was too loud, you can always switch that out, get the louvered baffle. Um, or you can have a zombie baffle in one and not in the other if you still want some sound. Uh, and also the tips of these are also interchangeable as well. Now on my Street Glide, the Road Glide that I sold already, and on my Road King, I chose the slant tip because I wanted the edge of the pipe to be in line with the slant on the saddlebags. On Violet, my Limited, I chose the same tip that I chose for these, which is that billeted tip straight, right? It's just changing the look a little bit on that bike. Um, and you can do the same thing on this if you want it. The good thing is you can put that where the slant is like this, like this, or even to the side. I think the side is a little, a little retro looking for my taste. I actually thought about it at first, but this is definitely the perfect, uh, in my opinion, and this is all subjective of course, but this is the perfect tip for the look and the profile of this motorcycle. I'm gonna put a link in the description section for these particular pipes, but definitely check out the link for Tab Performance, period, right? And just see what they have available for your motorcycle, whether you ride a Harley Davidson or an Indian. You're not gonna be disappointed with Tab Performance, and I'm talking about not only the way they sound, but the way they look. They have made every motorcycle that I've owned not only look better, but sound amazing. And Let's face it, when you're riding a motorcycle, when you're deciding on buying a motorcycle, those two things are very high on the list of things you want. How it looks and how it sounds. So guys, here's the old pipes. If anybody needs these, let me know because I don't have any need for them. Again, I wanna thank Tap Performance. Love those guys, love their products, and I can't recommend it enough, guys. It's simple as that. I appreciate you guys spending this time with me. I know that there's anything you could be doing with your time and the fact that you choose to spend a little bit of it with me, that's always appreciated. Please, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share, and hit that notification bell, guys, and switch it to all. That way you don't miss any videos that I have coming out. All right, guys, from the time I bought Allure until today, it's just getting better and better and there's more to come. I'm very, very happy. Seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. And if you have time to ride your motorcycle, you better make time to practice on one. Until next time.